Well, welcome to our 2012 Wetlands Status and Trends Workshop. My name is Mark Seelinger and I would like to personally invite you to this online workshop that we're going to be holding in January. This is sponsored by the Swamp School and it is entirely offered online. Well, what is the, the content of the workshop? Well, there's lots to talk about. We have lots of new things related to wetlands and things that are going on in the wetlands business. We have the new Army Corps of Engineers EPA Clean Water Act Protection Guidance that's been debated and is due to come out shortly. We have updates on the Rapanos decision, lots to talk about the Supreme Court interpretations and things that have been going on with that. The Obama administration has some, its own interpretations and policy and executive orders that have been kicking around. The Barrasso Hellerman Amendment to some of the Clean Water Act guidance that's going on, so we've got some battles in Congress as well. The Stockton Rule, the legislative branch has been pretty busy, and we also have some judicial issues as well, and the judicial issues relate to some of the federal decisions that have happened, especially down in Florida. We also have to pay attention to what's going on with the regional supplements. We have a whole bunch that are due to come out in final form very shortly, and we want to make sure we keep you up to speed on that. And of course, one of the things that's driving all of this is the natural gas exploration, and we want to get you up to speed on what's going on there. And a quick little issue with the natural gas is this thing called fracking. We, we will be discussing what fracking is and what are the wetland impacts associated with fracking. And we'll be going over some of the hot areas that work is being done specifically in the Northeast with the Marcellus, but as you can see the Fayetteville plays and down in Texas and out in the uh, western states, Utah and Wyoming and so forth, there is a lot of work going on in natural gas business right now and in the, up in the northern part of the country as well. So this is a big, big issue. Now the Marcellus area is one of the biggest areas right now for work in related to wetlands because of all the exploration work and all the wells that are being put in primarily in Pennsylvania, as you can see on this map, but it extends up into New York, which is a new market that's about to open. West Virginia is another market as well as Ohio, and these are all areas that are opening up as, as work. There's a little piece of Maryland that's even touched into this, and we dabbles into Virginia just a, a touch, and even into New Jersey, of all places. So there's some issues as related to that. So this is the Marcellus Formation. Now, in North Carolina, this is one of the new er, newer areas that is about to open up, and it is being debated right now. We have moratoriums in North Carolina on the, the drilling, but it is one of these things that may we may be seeing in the very near future, and this gives you kind of an area, a map of the areas that we're interested in. And this is again also where we may be looking at more wetlands work. And what does this translate to? Lots and lots of jobs. This, this is one of the more exciting times to be in the wetlands business. Jobs have been picking up the Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that we're looking at somewhere between a 15 and 30 percent growth rate annually for people doing work in wetlands work. So this is a wonderful opportunity to be in this business. So how do we get up to speed on this? Well, first you need to you need to participate in our meeting, which is on January 10th in 2012. It runs from 11 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. We, we started a little later because we have folks already signed up that want to, that are on the West Coast that are interested in this. There's a lot of issues. This is a national issue, and there's lots of folks doing it, so we tried to do it midday. Where do, you, where do you participate? Quite simply, it is online. We use the GoToMeeting format, uh, so we'll be using this as GoToMeeting, and you can join and get up to speed on this, and it is very, very easy to access. And also, if you sign up and for some reason you can't make it, well, guess what? We're recording it, so you can always log back in later on. Or if it turns out you can't make it in the first place and you know you are having a schedule conflict, this is something you definitely do not want to miss, so we'll give you the opportunity to log into that. So how do you get to this seminar? <clears throat> Basically go to our website, swampschool.org. You'll see a link for the 2012 Wetland Status and Trends link. And just sign in. You just need to, to log in. We charge a small fee for access to help us co cover the cost of running this thing. And we'll see you there. If you have any questions, our 800 number is 877-479-2673. You can also email us at info at swampschool.org or you can submit a help ticket if you need some help, or any other way you can send up smoke signals. But we're excited to see you there, and we hope to see you in January. Take care.